Today, I'm going to show you how to add a blog to your Framer site using Drop and Blog. Once you're in your Framer admin panel, you'll want to add a new page. So in the left-hand side over here, make sure to choose Pages on the menu and click on the plus icon. Then on the pop-up, click New Page. Your new page will appear under Pages, and if you double-click on it, you'll be able to name your new page. We'll name this one Block. Now that you're on your new page, on the upper menu on the left-hand side, click on Assets, and drag in your header navigation menu and your footer. This will be different for each website, so just do what you normally would for your other pages, and the rest will be unique for Drop and Blog. Once you've done that, on the upper menu on the left-hand side here, choose Layers. And under Layers, click on Desktop. Then on the right hand side here under breakpoint, change the height settings. So click here, then on the drop down, choose fit content. We're choosing the settings so that the page expands or contracts according to the content we put inside. Now that's done, we'll create the unique integration with drop and blog. We'll need to create a middle section here between the navigation header and the footer. To do that, we'll create two frames. So on the left-hand side here on the uppermost menu, click on this icon, then choose frame from the pop-up. Then inside the preview, outside of the layers you already have, click and drag to draw your frame to any size. Then click and drag your frame to between the navigation header and the footer. Then we'll do this one more time. So on the left-hand side here on the uppermost menu, click on the icon, then from the pop-up choose frame. Then inside the preview, outside of the layers you already have, click and drag to draw your frame to any size, then click and drag your frame into the frame we previously created. So make sure on the left hand side here that one of the frames is inside the other and not next to each other. Now in the preview, click on the outer frame, then on the right hand settings under size, click on the width drop down, then choose fill which will make it full width. And for height, click on the drop down, then choose Fit Content. And again, we're choosing this setting so that the page expands or contracts according to the content we put inside. And clicking on the interior frame here, which is actually just a placeholder for the height of the blog, so on the right hand settings. For this, width doesn't matter at all. In the height, let's just click here and change it to a thousand. So this is just to create some height when the page is loading, for example, the footer isn't slammed up against the navigation header. Now that's set up, we'll go to our drop and blog account and in the code and layout page, we'll scroll down a bit. We have two steps to complete here. Click on the first line of code to copy it, then go back to your Framer admin panel tab and make sure you're on your blog page. On the upper right, click on the gear icon to go to your settings. Scroll down and under custom code, find the end of body tag. Click inside its text box and paste your first line of code. Scroll back up and click save. Then click on the settings icon again to get back to where we were. Now the second step. Let's go back to our drop and blog tab and we'll need to put this code in. Now Framer already has divs in there so we only need to add this dib-posts to one of the frames. So let's go back to our Framer tab. Then make sure to click on the outer frame, which if you look on the left sidebar is now labeled stack because we put the height on the inner frame. Then on the right hand side settings, scroll down and under scroll section, click on it if it isn't expanded yet and inside the name text box type in dib-posts. So the outer frame has the dib-posts and the inner frame has the height set to 1000. And that's it for adding the blog. Now, another thing you might want to do here is to add in whatever normal breakpoints you would have on the rest of your site. So up here, click on the plus icon beside breakpoint, then choose tablet, for example. We'll do that again here, but select phone this time. And the reason for this is you want to make sure that your navigation headers and footers are where they're supposed to be, and the drop-in blog content will automatically become responsive. Then on the upper right, just click publish, then click on update. Once it's done updating, you can click on your site link here to view your site. It will open up in a new tab. One last step to make sure that all of these blog post links work correctly is to copy this page's URL, then go back to your drop and blog account. Once there, up top, click on settings. And once in the settings page under blog URL in the text box, 
paste in the URL you just copied, then click on Save All Changes. Great, it's saved. Let's go back to our Framer blog page, refresh. Let's click on one of these blog posts. And it all looks good. Now, a bonus, a thing you might have noticed is that these links are in the default blue and purple color. Unfortunately, Framer doesn't pass down those styles, inheriting from the parent frames. Drop and Log can help with that. Just go back to your Drop and Log account, to your Code and Layout page, scroll down under Advanced, then under Design Customizations, you can set your color here. So we'll just click inside, then choose Orange. There's a bunch of other customizations that you can play with here, change your fonts and such, but for now we'll just do the link color and increase the font size a bit to 18 so that it looks a little nicer. Then just click on Save Design Customizations. There's the confirmation on the upper right. Then let's go back to your Framer blog page. Hit Refresh. Here you'll see now that your font size and link color have changed. Let's click on a blog post to check there as well. Scrolling down, everything looks good. And that's how you add a blog to your Framer site using Drop and Blog. Happy blogging.